everybody. Thank you for being here today. Um, my name is Andrea Manso. I am the Regional Equity Director for Building Healthy Communities. Um, Building Healthy Communities is in solidarity with NEPA and stands for all the great work that they have done in this community, um, in this region, and statewide. Uh, today you will hear from others that support their work as well. Um, and we will be hearing from uh, Philip Tavera, uh, part of the Salinas Union High School District Board, uh, Mill Mason, Executive Director uh, and Clinical Director for the Village Project, Jaime Molina from the National Compadres Network, and uh, Jacob Rodriguez, a uh, youth that has gone through the programs of MIPA, and Con Gomez, Executive Director for MIPA. Uh, please, uh, if I can call Mill Tavera first uh, to speak. Thank you. Um, I'm here to support the thought um, that I've lived here in this town my entire life. In fact, I grew up over here downstream in Hebron. Um, and so um, I, I want to say that, first of all, um, I'm very fortunate enough to be uh, retired um, from San Jose State University, and I taught there for over 20 years in Chicano Studies. Um, and uh, now I'm teaching me from a large new town on a heart now. And I'm working in ethnic studies there too. And uh, it's kind of interesting because here today in class, I was telling the students about the, uh, giving some more information about the 13th Amendment uh, to the Constitution. And there's a piece in the Constitution that talks about uh, the ability of, of cities or, or uh, different uh, jurisdictions to, to uh, arrest people. And uh, uh, if you have lived here in Salinas for any like length of time, you would know, you would know somebody who's been arrested, uh, who's been stopped, uh, uh, who's on parole, uh, et cetera, et cetera, by the Salinas police, police Department. And, uh, and, I, and I, I, I'm here to support them, but because they are being effective, they have been effective in creating some change here in this town um, with the, um, the S SRO issue, which I'm totally against, um, the issue of, of uh, Live PD, which really just uh, supports a very negative image of our of our people, and that's an old image, and that goes way back uh, in this country. Um, and then, um, uh, was it there? Uh, the anyway, um, and talking and telling the students about these kinds of issues, and every with every single time that the city has done that, in this has has, has brought up uh, has opposed uh, efforts. At, at making our community better, every single time I can, I, I can go back to the time I was in high school. With this, I can report the situation where this has happened. But with every single situation, they get more and more sophisticated. They attack us in different ways, and uh, and so uh, this is nothing new. This is nothing new for us. And uh, you have people here that know what they're talking about. Uh, I have total faith in the newer generation to do what's right um, uh, because they have a lot of heart in what they're doing and um, uh, I know that there's some out there that want to drag them through the mud for being effective, but too bad. We're here, we're not going to go anywhere. Okay? So uh, that's all I have to say. common goal of building communities and, and strengthening families. We have a number of things in common. We're also black and brown led organizations and that is a real problem for the system. Because other organizations and, and a lot of us have been around here a long time and we know that they've had problems. We've had executive directors embezzling money. We've had all kinds of people that have been involved in sexual improprieties. We've had people who have been involved in fraud. The organizations were never vilified. The people may have been brought to justice, maybe, but the organizations were never vilified. Milpa is being vilified. That's a difference in treatment, and the, and the reason for the difference in treatment is color. 
color and race, so-called race, ethnicity. When milk was first formed, you know, a lot of us in the black community really celebrated that. Because one more time, an organization came up out of a community that was historically oppressed by racism and, and, a, and a local version of colonialism. Because Tarzan, they thought, still existed. That Tarzan knew better for the natives than the natives did. That Tarzan would lead the natives. That Tarzan would hook the natives. And so what we have to do is get rid of Tarzan. Certainly get rid of Tarzan mentality. So that calls for systemic change. And the thing that we loved about Milton was it, not, it, was, it was not about going along to get along. It was about changing the system. We knew that there was a system here that wanted to continue the oppression that our communities were facing. And who best to lead oppressed people than people who come from oppressed people? There's nobody else that can do it. And who better to deal with our youngsters, you know, who are on the verge of getting involved in gangs, etc., than somebody who's been involved in it? Who better to deal with the, the, all of the issues around incarceration and over-incarceration than those who have been, who have been incarcerated? We, you know, we, are, we hire incarcerated, formerly incarcerated individuals because we know that for that population of African Americans and other people of color that we're trying to reach who have had those prison experiences, that these are the folks that can best relate to them and they are the folks that those folks can best relate to. That's how you get work done. And so every time that we do that, every time that we fight to change the system, then something happens. Something happens to us. Any kind of anything that goes down is then used to vilify an entire organization. You know, I'm not here to justify or defend any kind of behavior that many of us found to be really a, either horrific or certainly troubling, you know, and, 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 uh, and, and very, very concerning. But what I am concerned about, excuse me, I'm losing my voice. But I, what I am concerned about is the behavior on the part of this system. Whenever we start to do a lot of things right, they find a way of trying to make everything that we do wrong. So I'm here on behalf of the Village Project to talk about how we do healing. And the best way that we can do healing is to have organizations like the Village Project and NOPA working together to heal our communities and build our families, strengthen our families, and strengthen our communities. Thank you. Yeah. impact the daily lives of our community members. Part of the National Compatriot Network's efforts, locally and nationally, have been to transform oppressive systems that historically traumatize individuals and communities. We recognize that the choice to work in kinship with those experiencing trauma or uh, carries a certain amount of uh, risk and complexity, as we know. Walking along alongside individuals who have been victims and perpetrators of community ill means offering services that are recognized the struggle in their lives. It is important to work with system involved and impacted individuals and assist in the transformation of their internalized trauma so they can transition to being positive contributing persons of their families and communities. This is not an easy task for anyone or any organization. MIPA has made that valiant choice. MIPA has worked to co-create culturally rooted and healing centered programs with individuals who want to contribute to positive changes in the Salinas community. Their efforts support system involved and system impacted individuals in, with all the complexities of issues and challenges that present, uh, that are present comes with great courage. Addressing the trauma associated with systemic oppression through indigenous based cultural rooted healing and important practices is essential to the advanced lasting policy and system change as well as how services are, are constructed and delivered to achieve equitable outcomes and opportunities for our, our community members. 
MILPAS programs offer individuals the opportunity to heal from the trauma they have experienced themselves and to also develop positive and healthy lives moving forward. In essence, transform their trauma into healing medicine. MILPA also recognizes that in being true to the needs of those they serve, they must also advocate to transform systems to better serve those communities. It is for those reasons that Jerry Dale, the founder of National Compliance Network and the NCN staff, chose MILPA from the inception to support it and to provide training capacity building to a valuable organization as a means to eliminate violence in our communities and our families by replacing with culturally rooted healing traditions and values. We believe in MILPA's mission to cultivate change makers for the next seven generations by improving the health and well-being of the most impacted communities. This is essential to positive community development. The National Compliance Network adds its voice to support uh, MILPA in its noble efforts to end all forms of violence that affect children, women, families, and communities in Salinas and Monterey County, as well as to, uh, its goal to develop and expand culturally rooted healing so that Salinas can continue to transform into a place of health, harmony, and cultural pride for all its residents. Thank you very much. based on their past mistakes. Mm -hmm. You give everyone an equal opportunity. With that being said, this is more than just a job. This is a family that will take you at face value no matter your religion, race, or gender. They will accept you as well as help you through your journey. Personally, they have given me many, many opportunities. They have given me the opportunity to meet my elected officials. They have sent me to UC Davis to be on a board to interview the current the current the California superintendent, Tony Thurmond. And so that, with that being said, I thank you all for listening to what I have to say. And I urge each and every one of you to form your own opinion on us. Come and talk to us. Come and see who we are. And you will see who we truly are. And once again, I thank you all for listening.
I am so proud of the trust our partners place in us, and we strive to earn that trust every day. So confianza. Thank you to all our friends and partners for the words today and every day. Gracias a todos ustedes por venir y apoyarnos. Es importante y se agradece mucho a todas las señoras y los señores. Um, and thank you again for coming out to support MIFA and the critical work we do in our community. Porque es importante que soporten aquí nuestro trabajo. Es importante aquí, ¿no? Y muchos de ustedes saben cómo hemos trabajado con nuestras familias, con la comunidad, con mi estado de ayuda, you know. Um, your support makes it possible for us to do the work we do. Y es por su confianza, su apoyo que hacemos lo que hacemos, su bendición de muchas de las amas que están aquí, you know. Um, I promise to continue our efforts to fill our mission and commitment to our community. Pero después de la palabra, le vamos a dar ganas y vamos a hacer todo lo que queremos para seguir adelante, siempre, you know, um, por las buenas y por las malas. Esa es la promesa. To that end, I want to announce that after our conversation with the board, staff, and supporters, les quiero anunciar que después de todas muchas conversaciones con diferentes gentes, um, que vamos a empezar un, un proceso uh, con our fiscal sponsor, Action Council, um, para mirar, uh, para determinar dentro de 90 a uh, 120 días un proceso para mirar todas las policías de, de nuestra organización. What I'm saying is that MIPA will begin a process with our fiscal sponsor, Action Council, to best determine a 90 to 100 day review process for our organization. This will involve an outside organization to conduct an independent review and assessment of our current policies and procedures and provide us with recommendations on any changes that we can implement to further strengthen MIPA operations and to continue our mission of healing, restoration, safety, and well being in our community. I know there will be many questions about the review. I have muchas preguntas de este review, but at this point I can only tell you it will be conducted by an outside organization and take 9 to 100 days to conduct. But at this moment, no malo puedo decir que va a estar asido por una organización afuera de de la área y va a tener va a durar como tres o cuatro meses para proceder proceder adelante. Community building and healing is difficult work, and we have to take on this challenge because we have seen the power of personal and community transformation. Este trabajo de la comunidad y de sanación y curación es muy difícil, um, pero nosotros vamos a, uh, si nos levantamos la bandera porque es importante, nosotros hemos, hemos mirado el poder personal y de la comunidad cuando viene junto. We welcome everyone in our community to come and learn more about the life saving work we do. Si no nos conocen, vengan a conocer lo que hacemos. Si no muchos de ustedes nos conocen, así a veces desde chiquitos hasta más grandes, si no. Um, so thank you for your trust and for your support. Muchas gracias por su apoyo y su confianza. Adelante.